Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's Dollar Tree haul is a little bit different because I'm actually filming this on the Wednesday prior to you seeing it. Um, I went to have lunch with my grandchildren um, and then drove about 30 more miles up the road to Gastonia, North Carolina. And I was going to try to show it to you, but not sure I'll be able to. Let's see if I can. But um, I don't know what it looks like. Anyway, this is like the largest Dollar Tree, excuse me, Close your eyes. <laughs> this is the largest Dollar Tree in the area. It's um, around 20,000 square feet. I don't know. It's huge. It's called the racetrack because it's a huge circle. And then in between, they have like rows and stuff. But um, it takes a good hour or so to walk through there. And I was going to film in there today, but there's people and they got in the way. And I just thought it would be better not to do that. So, but I found some cute things, and, um, yeah, so let me just start. Lady walks by and thinks I'm not talking to myself. I found things I haven't found in any of the Dollar Trees at home. Well, this you probably could find, but this is just like some little cat fatty mix. I'm going to be doing Easter and spring because, you know, I think the little flowers would be cute for spring. Um, some little shakers for journals. And then I haven't seen these in a long time, and I have a lot in storage. I just can't get to them. But the tower tumbling blocks. Now this is new. I've never seen anybody haul it, nor have I seen it before. But Dollar Tree is wising up in their Capture Square stuff. This is a pool noodle a knife. <laughs> I have not seen it. And I don't have a pool noodle, but I had to grab this to show it to you. Um, but we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna get a pool noodle. And we're going to test it out and see just how well it works. So then, let's see what else is in here. You know, this is a no random order because they didn't know how to pack it. <laughs> okay, so I picked up another one of these little paper pads with the sayings and stuff on them. I think they're really cute. I love this one. Um, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And then there's one in here that I really like. Uh, let me see. My friend Shimmy Dixon haul these, and I haven't been able to find this one. It says, a true artist is not one who is inspired, but one who inspires others. I really like that. So that is the front. That is like what all of them look like. I'm trying to slip this back in the bag or somewhere close to it. Then I found cardstock. Now, I haven't seen this in any of my Dollar Trees. I have some seen people haul some of this. But um, it's more like a linen type cardstock, but it's very pretty. It's um, 175 GSM, so it's pretty sturdy, but it comes like this. So this is a pastel one, and you get pink. Sorry for the glare. Let me see if I can get it closer. You get pink, um, lavender, and this mint green. And on this one, it's called Frozen. And you get navy blue, let's see, let me do it this way. Navy blue and then a, a mid blue and it's sort of a tealy blue. On this one it's called white. And it looks white, so I, I picked up one of those. And then I picked up this one that's black. So I'll test those out and see how that goes. And then I picked up some ribbon, which all of it's not in here. Well, maybe it is. I wanted to do like another little um, recipe farmhouse inspired journal. And then I'm going to be listing these. I'm probably either going to do Etsy Shop or Shopify. But I picked up these. This is a truck and then this is a farm. I thought it was really cute. And then the sunflowers. The little farm's got the, the cow, the chickens, and no pigs, but I thought it was very cute. And then I picked up some full-size products that I was shocked. Freeman, which is a name brand company, these sell for eight or nine dollars in Walmart. This is a clearing peel-off clay mask, full-size, and there's no harsh chemicals in it at all. And then this is the French pink clay peel-off mask. I think this one is. Yeah, this is a peel-off mask, too. But I picked those up. 
And then in this bag also, they dumped. <laughs> I picked up the resin kit because I have a project in mind that I want to do. And I want to see if it works. And then I picked up some Armor All Disinfectant. That is this bag. I need to rearrange this stuff because damn, my paper's going to get all messed up like this. But I know one thing, the bag's all tore up. It's about to fall out. All right. I got my back piled up back here, y'all. Would not believe. I'm rearranging my SUV once again. Okay, so in this bag, these are really cute things in here too that I've not seen. I thought these would be so cute. Um, excuse me. For spring or Easter in journals, I mean these would be cute for journal covers. These little ones would actually fit inside. But I just thought that was so cute. And then I also found these rub-on transfer. It says, farmhouse, coffee, flour, sugar, kitchen, recipes, welcome home. I thought that would be good for a farmhouse book that I'm going to do. And then I just picked up one of the metal uh, welcome signs to go with another wreath that I'm making with one of these. I apologize for not showing you the wreath I made, but... That's what I'll do this time. And then I picked up this burlap. This is so cool. It's got these little teal polka dots. I was hoping they'd have some other colors, and I'm sure they do. But not on this one. Not here. But it's 18 inches by 21 inches. 100% jute. So. And then. Okay, we all see my attempt at John the Month Calendar on my own personal junk um, bullet journal that I started. So I picked me up one of these. And I'll just cut the tops and stuff off of it and stick the monthly thing in there. Someone's not good at that. I need some more practice. And then I got the crafting paper. It's kind of like what I just showed you, but it's just the different colors. Um, really pretty pages and stuff. This is what it looks like. And then I picked up this. I didn't realize what it was at first, but I guess it's a card kit. Excuse me for the glare there, but it's four blank cards, four blank inserts, and four blank envelopes. Let's see. Does it have a... Nope, I have to take all that off. But anyway, we'll play with those one day. So that was all I got in that bag. And then I really didn't get a whole lot of, um, let me put that back in there. The only other thing I got was, I got a couple of the Zero Sugar Power Aids. And then I got some of these little suckers. There's 12 pops and cards. And believe it or not, these are for my coworkers because, you know, just thought I'd give a little something something. I have a couple people there who don't eat chocolate, so I wasn't going to spend that much money buying little individual boxes of chocolate. Oh, yeah, and I picked up some Fiji water because <laughs> it is so good. Mm. So next time I come here, I'm going to ask ahead of time and find out what a good time is that's not so busy so that I can actually share all this with you. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the haul. I'm telling you, this Dollar Tree was amazing. Um, and then I found out right across the way there is a pop shelf. Um, I've been hearing a lot about pop shelf, mostly from Catherine over at Do It On A Dime. And, um, she's always got fabulous ideas too. I'll link her below. But I, I thought I might hop over there and see what's going on with pop shelf, but I'm not sure. Um, may have to wait to another time because it's getting later in the day. And I need to head back to the Hill City before it gets dark. <laughs> But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the haul. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm really trying to get integrated to the algorithms again with YouTube. And um, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and think about subscribing by hitting that little bell, that little button that says subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And make sure you tap the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you would like to join um, the little fan club, consider doing that 
or if not you can just leave a tip below to help further this channel i'm trying to buy some new filming equipment so that my and editing software so that my videos will be a little bit more professional all right guys thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful afternoon bye